Hey, this is Dr. Chaudhry, and welcome to Loyola Surgery Presents How to Move Patients Safely in the OR. Throughout the course of this video, you will learn all the ins and outs, tips and tricks in getting a patient safely into the operating room and out to pack you. When the patient first comes in, the nurses will do a check-in, and your resident will stand by the board and check in all the important information prior to getting the patient ready for anesthesia. Let's take a listen. It's your birthday. It is now time to help move the patient to the OR table. There must be team members on each side of the patient to ensure a safe transfer. At this time, make sure IVs, lines, and any drains the patient might have come with are accounted for. The gown will be untied from behind the patient and helped pulled as the patient scoots over so that they don't lay on it during surgery. This can cause a pressure injury. The patient should be in the center of the bed with their hips and arms having comfortable room on each side of the bed. At this time, the bed will be taken away and the rest of the process will begin. It is now time to get the patient ready for anesthesia and for surgery. The bed can first be taken away, which is a great task for a medical student to help out with. Once the bed is out of the room, the rest of the team will come at the patient like a pit crew. Arm boards will be adjusted, the belt will be placed, anesthesia will start getting ready for intubation if needed, and SCDs can be placed. Take a look at this close-up view of Dr. Brown placing a belt. As you can see, the belt must be flat when placing it into the attachment next to the bed. The belt is pulled, snug tightly, and placed into the buckle, making sure not too tight and checking that there's some room for the patient's leg in between the belt. The SCDs must be connected on both sides and make sure that the SCD machine is actually on. Don't forget the foam egg tray to make sure the patient doesn't get nerve injury. Once anesthesia has taken effect, the surgical team and the anesthesia team can start performing their pre-surgical interventions like nerve blocks, Foley catheter placement, arterial lines, and endotracheal intubation. This is a great opportunity for medical students to help out with Foley catheter placement, observe lines, and observe intubation. Remember, surgery is a team sport and you can learn just as much from anesthesia as you can with the actual operation going on. Great job. Surgery went well. Now it's time to get the patient to pack you. While anesthesia works on getting the patient extubated, we can bring the bed in. The arm boards can come off and the bed can be brought closer to the patient. Make sure to drop the railing on the side closest to the patient, bring the bed in, and lock it. At this time, as a medical student, you can go to the sub-sterile area and grab some blankets to make sure your patient is nice and warm when they wake up from anesthesia. It's now time to move the patient. Make sure there's two people on one side of the patient arms crossed, holding the hips and shoulders, and turn the patient when anesthesia said it's time to go. The other person can then hold the rolling board over the sheet and go ahead and pull the sheet over, sliding the patient. Turn the patient over, and the other side can pull the rolling board out. Remember, this is all on anesthesia's count. They're in charge at the head of the bed. Blankets can be placed, and the patient can then be taken away to pack you. When the bed is pulled away, make sure to place the railing back up on the side closer to the OR table, and safely take the patient to their desired bay in the PACU. Great job. Now you know how to move a patient safely in the OR. We hope this video can make being in the OR less stressful, less intimidating, and you can really participate as part of the surgical team, getting your patient into the OR, getting them their surgery, and out. Thank you to everybody at Gottlieb Memorial Hospital for helping out making this video. This is Dr. Chaudhry, signing off.